Welcome to the AACS Daily News for May 4th, 2016. New England residents who suffer from rare diseases and complex disorders had an opportunity to share their experiences last Saturday at Cardi's Furniture. The meeting was organized by Rare New England, formerly known as Mito New England. Registered nurse Julie Gertze gave us the details. Today we are at a Mito New England turned Rare New England meeting. We, are at, we hold this at Cardi's Furniture Store in South Atterbury. Um, they offer this wonderful community room and we are here today to bring people together who suffer from rare diseases and complex diseases. Today we had two physicians who came to talk about their experiences working with complex care and rare disease patients, uh, the issues that are involved and how we might be able to improve things for the rare community. I'm an RN and a patient advocate I've been working for the past few years in rare diseases. I started out in founding Mito New England in 2013 after realizing that patients needed a community to be able to come together and speak with other people who are going through the issues with rare diseases. There are so many different rare diseases, honestly. Um, there are many rare diseases, rare, many people walking around with many symptoms where they're not even diagnosed yet. They're not able to get a diagnosis because there's just not enough research out there uh, for them to be able to put things together to find the disease. If they can't find the disease, they sure can't find the cure. The other problem is when you get into separate diseases, there are smaller communities within specific diseases. And for that purpose, a lot of pharmaceutical companies are not working in, for cures in those smaller disease communities. So there are many, many, many diseases out there who do not have any cures. And the ones who, some do have treatments, but they're very limited treatments and they can't bring the patient very far. Recently, we have embrace the, the rare community as a whole and we are advocating uh, we're trying to bring in educational opportunities i've been doing that with mito new england over the past few years bringing in physicians lawyers and others uh, now we want to be able to do that further with the whole rare community um, i believe as a nurse what you do is teach patients i feel that the more information that they have then the better choices that they're able to make about their health care for themselves and their families. We have a brand new website for Rare New England actually, and and that is www.rarenewengland, R-A-R-E, New England, dot org. That's it for today's update. For AACS News, I'm Austin Ricketts.